my goodness me is it bright this morning i didn't even bring sunglasses um because it was tipping with rain when i left the house this morning it's such a classic like sunshine and showers kind of a day it feels very stereotypical autumn and i know i keep saying that about no matter what the weather is it can be like a great cloudy day i'm like oh it's so autumnal really beautiful sunshine day and i'm like oh it's so autumnal but i do feel like sunshine and showers a day like today feels very very typically autumnal but good morning everyone i am car vlogging this morning so i was up bright and early and headed straight to the club for a gym workout this morning i have been really really trying to push myself to try different classes because i'm not gonna lie i get real anxiety about going to classes by myself i'm really really bad at going to classes by myself i normally go with like a friend or someone that i know um whereas if i have to go by myself i literally feel like the um <laughs> trying to like get the shade right because it is so so bright when i'm in the sun um but yeah i've been trying to be a lot better at going to classes on my own without a friend so i've been kind of like starting small so i did a cycle class this morning which i know what to do with regards to cycle classes like i know the kind of routine but it's like a different instructor and a different kind of class um so went to that this morning and feeling really really good for it so just chucked on the coziest little knit this is like a little river island jumper that i brought out of my um autumn wardrobe switch over and i'm loving it it's like really really cozy vibes and so perfect just to like chuck on once you've been to the gym um but i wanted to come on here because i wanted to have a little bit of a chat and basically admit that i was wrong and this is why i love you guys because i love hearing your feedback and i love being able to have this like back and forth with you it's one of my the reasons why youtube is like my favorite platform because i really do feel like i'm having a conversation with you sometimes on instagram like tiktok you kind of feel like you're just putting content out to the void whereas on youtube it's like i know that it's going straight to your subscription box and like eagle eyes are going to be watching um so thank you so much for your feedback over the last week or so um but i will completely admit that i was wrong and two days a week and not what we want we want three videos a week and actually i feel like this last week that's just gone by has been a really weird week because i've been trying to not film too much and in turn i feel like i've been barely vlogging and barely keeping you guys up to date and i've not enjoyed it i must admit i'm a lot more productive when i'm vlogging i don't know why but i feel like when i've got my makeup on and i know what i'm like doing for the day i just feel like i'm just like I just get on with the day a bit better and i love updating you guys over what's been like going on what's been happening and things like that um and i just feel like this last week has been it's just felt off and i've not enjoyed it um so i've listened to your feedback i've heard what you said and going forward we're going to be carrying on with the sundays tuesdays and thursdays videos and i'm going to make sure that they're not too long because that was basically the main feedback that i was getting is that it's not the quantity of the video it's the length of the video and you guys all seem to prefer like 30 40 minute vlogs so that's what we're going to be doing moving forward um and i just want to thank you for your patience thank you for your feedback thank you for everything that you do for me because sometimes this job can be really really hard like it's quite a guessing game sometimes and i have like the weirdest shadow on my face um it can be quite a guessing game sometimes with regards to love what you guys want to like see or like what you guys want from me so sometimes it's really nice to like hear it from the horse's mouth and for you guys to be like no ellie we don't want two vlogs a week we want three vlogs a week but just make them shorter so that's what we're going to be doing moving forward so just wanted to give that little announcement in this video because this should be going up on a tuesday so hopefully you'll have seen this in your subscription box if you haven't clicked the subscribe button that is always the reason to do it because it just means that you don't miss a single video and i know a lot of you guys watch these vlogs but aren't actually subscribed so i would love it if you hit that subscribe button it would help me out so so much um and if you know anyone that would like my vlogs i'd love it if you could share them because i feel like youtube is quite difficult to find new youtubers these days so send it to your friends send it to your family if anyone that you know you think would enjoy my videos and i would be so so highly appreciated so i'm gonna get myself home because i'm starving i need to make myself some breakfast and then we can crack on with the rest of the day back from the club now and you want to know what is the first thing the first thing i always do when i get back from a gym session the elemis pro collagen rose hydro mist oh my goodness got any face mist to be perfectly honest i am not really loyal to face mists i just love a refreshing lightweight face mist i'm a bit of a face mist slut if you will but this one mm. 
oh it's such a lovely one especially after like a sweaty session just to give your skin that like revitalization and i can't even tell you how nice it smells oh always feels so good so i have just had a new delivery arrive from pixie that i thought we could unbox together because you know how much i adore pixie products i feel like they have so many good products especially for the gym i always rely on their like stick products and stuff um for a really easy like oh five minute essentials oh this sounds exciting um i always use their products for something really quick and easy so i'm super excited to see what is in here so five essentials five minutes the pixie perfect collection presents a foolproof way to enhance your natural beauty in five minutes with five botanically infused must-haves <gasps> oh this is really really exciting so some of their best beauty makeup products from the looks of it um so the first thing we have is the cc crayon i have never heard of a cc crayon before but it's a correction pen that sounds really, really exciting. Oh, I think it's specifically for under eyes. CC cream. Don't know if you can read that. It's not quite focusing on, but it says buy under eye. <gasps> Might have to test that out tomorrow. That sounds really, really exciting. And um, we then have a new mascara, the Lash Booster Mascara, which I've never actually tried a Pixie mascara. Um, so that is lovely. We then have this as a product I love. I think I might throw this straight in my gym bag. The Sheer Cheek by Pixie. This is in the shade flushed which looks like quite a bright pink but i might have to give that a swatch and try um we then have the lip lift max oh this sounds really exciting glossy lip maximizer in the shade sheer rose um and then a brow tamer which again is another product i would just chuck straight in my gym bag because it's so so handy to have especially in a clear color um and making sure that you can literally just brush up your brows to be perfectly honest all i need for the day i don't even think i need the mascara or the lip gloss like for me i can easily get away with these three products for the day i just need a little bit of concealer or some kind of um base i usually like to use the pixie h2o skin tint um so that's a blush maybe a bronze as well it's a shame that they don't have a bronze in here and then a brow tamer that is so so lovely i feel like we should give this a bit of a swatch just to try out and see what the color's like oh this is very different oh i thought this was going to be the blush stick but it's very much a blush stain oh this looks really daunting like that is so dark oh wow <gasps> Oh my goodness, that is really, really dark. I don't know if you can see that on the back of my hand, but that is like a blood red. But let's just blend it in slightly. And I feel like that does give you quite a nice... Do you know what that really reminds me of? If you remember, I recently unboxed the um, Urban Decay lip... Not lip. I think they were like blush stains again. It's a very, very similar product. So if you like the Urban Decay ones, you might like this. Um, let's also try, um, I'm gonna try the concealer, the CC cream concealer, because I do actually have, I do have a mirror beside me and it might be worth giving myself a little bit more coverage under my eyes, although I can't blend it in with that finger because that finger's now gone all pink. Ooh, I quite like how lightweight that is and I can definitely apply it with my finger what do we think do we notice any difference oh i'm definitely gonna have to use that like properly tomorrow with my makeup routine because i'm not gonna lie something i have actually been really struggling with is my under eyes at the moment i don't know why but they just have not been playing ball i i just think i'm struggling so much with the earlier mornings the fact that it's dark or well, not earlier mornings the dark mornings because i like to get up quite early um and i really really struggle when it's dark i just don't really feel like getting up sheer rose this sounds like my cup of tea in a lip gloss oh look at that that is so so beautiful oh i think that's going to be such a stunning gloss to add to my lips i'm really loving glosses and balms and anything that's like really hydrating on my lips at the moment oh yeah hmm it's almost got a bit of a menthol-y taste not sure if i love that but i do love the shade so Thank you so much, Pixie. Some really gorgeous products. This is going straight in my gym bag, the Brow Tamer, and I do quite like that. I feel like that's quite a clever product. So some really gorgeous, quick and easy makeup, which, you know, is exactly what your girl likes. <laughs> well, my goodness me, after the most sunshine and showers day today, I've just come downstairs, opened up the bifolds, and we have the most beautiful 
evening you can just feel that like october sunshine just streaming in it's blusterous it's breezy and i am loving it um but the reason i came downstairs is because i want to get started on dinner and i really have set a goal for myself to try and make some more homemade meals and i do feel like when it comes to the kitchen that's like the one area that i really really can improve on i feel like when it comes to baking i don't want to say i've nailed it but like I can create some really, really lovely like puddings and recipes and I really enjoy them. Whereas in the past, I've not really enjoyed cooking. I find it a bit overwhelming sometimes. Um, so I am gonna start small. I've got out one of my favorite cookbooks and I used to love sifting through this and deciding what to cook for dinner. This is the Leon Happy One Pot Cookie. And I think I've spoken about this before, but I really, really love doing like one pot tray bake kind of things. And I feel like this is going to be the perfect book to have a little sift through and pick some meals out of that i'll be able to create um i definitely want to get a few more cookbooks so if you have any cookbooks that create like really hearty healthy but fairly easy meals please do let me know because i am all ears so i thought i would have a little sift through and we can decide what to do i've actually already chosen dinner for tonight because i knew i needed to get the ingredients in um I folded down the page where have i folded it so dinner tonight is going to be an avocado pesto pasta which i feel like when it comes to pasta there's not a lot that can go wrong and when i was reading through this recipe it was so simple i mean it literally prep time eight minutes cook time eight minutes it literally just is the prep with regards to like the actual sauce and then boiling the pasta and that's all i need to do so this recipe really really excited me um in terms of changing it i've actually gone for fusilli instead of linguine because i personally prefer um avocado pasta with fusilli i just think it's a little bit it's a little bit better um but i've got all of the ingredients in so we just need the pasta two ripe avocados garlic pine nuts olive oil fresh basil which i'll be able to literally pick from my basil plant over there so that also really excited me um i'm not doing parmesan um and then i can just use some lemon juice and literally from the sounds of it i just chuck it all in a food processor or like blender mix it all together and cook the pasta and that is it so i thought this would be the perfect recipe to kind of like start off with tonight um but they have some really really lovely recipes this one i've done before actually the smoky mackerel carbonara if you like fish which you guys know that i do um they've also got like a section for literally all pad thai we do love a pad thai in this household um but they've got loads of different sections so like this one is naturally fast they've got like fish they've got big dishes um so there's loads in here that i'll be able to have a bit more of a sift through oh i would love love to learn how to make risotto i don't know if it's that difficult i've heard mixed reviews some people say it's really easy some people say it is really difficult but oh, these are some of my favorites these ones that are like a big pot that you can just literally serve up for like a huge group of people and obviously whenever it comes to the serving sizes just add or minus whatever you need so i'm gonna get started on dinner and i'm really really excited to create a lovely homemade pesto pasta well this is looking very aesthetically pleasing my goodness me if the pasta looks half as good as all the ingredients look then i'm hoping that we are in for a treat um so it literally seems as simple as just blitzing all of the ingredients together and then cooking the pasta um, so as i said i've got fusilli because we personally prefer fusilli especially with um with pesto i just think it works better and how good is this fully recyclable packaging well done m s um so i picked that up i also am hoping these are the right pine nuts um they're pine nut kernels but it does say for pestos and pilaus so hopefully that's the right thing um i've got a clove of garlic i've got the basil over here which it does say just the leaves so i'll make sure to pick all of the leaves off separately and get rid of the stems i can't tell how good my hands smell just from picking that it's honestly amazing um so loving that i'm able to use that um, i've then got two avocados which are perfectly ripe um it says flaky sea salt we only have himalayan pink rock salt which i'm sure will be fine lemon juice um and then the olive oil that we picked up in the south of france i'm not gonna lie we have really made our way through this because we've used olive oil with almost every meal um so we're definitely gonna have to refill this with something but yeah really really exciting that i can use that um so hopefully i'll be able to just chop this all up get it in the blender in the food processor and we'll have a delicious Pasta pasta for dinner.
everyone and my goodness me am i looking majorly cute and camera ready this morning my goodness me i was not planning on getting the camera out, and then i remember i said yesterday that we would try out the concealer together the new pixie cc crayon by under eye concealer and i mentioned that i've been really struggling with my under eyes at the moment i really do think it's just my sad and how much i struggle to get up in the dark i honestly get so affected by the weather and i know i talk about like the weather the temperature whether it's sunny how early the sun rises how late it sets and like i know i talk about it a lot but i feel like it's because it just really affects me and i have been really really struggling with the darker mornings i am just waiting patiently waiting for the clocks to go backwards at the end of october because i feel like that gives me like a slither more sunshine in the morning um it just makes it a little bit easier to wake up um so i decided i would use these this morning these are the deep puffing ones from pixie the detoxify um and these are the best ones to use in the morning i've got a couple of others that i really like to use in the evening um for example this one with the purple lid this is the replenishing pm patches and these are so nice if you're just like watching telly having a bit of a pamper evening these are fab to use so these have been on for like a good 20 minutes or so um so i feel like they have worked their magic and we can start doing skincare um and makeup skincare no i've already done my skincare what am i on about um which by the way oh, favorite product at the moment the bobby brown vitamin enriched face base you can see how much i have been using this thank goodness i have another one once this runs out because we are nearing the end but i'm just loving this at the moment i feel like you don't need to use a primer if you use this um moisturizer because it is like a kind of priming it does say all in one primer and moisturizer it's like a really really tacky moisturizer and i don't mean that in a bad way like it's a really really lovely one so use that this morning done my skincare eyes are feeling a lot better actually i feel like they feel a lot less puffy um and we can give this a little bit of a try because i'm someone that likes to use concealer before i use the rest of my makeup i usually do under eye concealer first and then i apply foundation or cc serum or obviously i'm going to be using the pixie h2o skin tint over the top um so this is a tinted face gel which i really really like especially for days like today when i'm just going to be at home not really doing much um i'm not gonna lie it feels really weird to use like a crayon because I am normally someone that does like a bit of concealer and I kind of like dot it. So it feels kind of weird to like swipe across. Um, but even having not blended that in, you can see that it's kind of like designed to brighten your eyes. Um, and it's really supposed to kind of take away that like blueness. You know when you get that purpley blueness underneath your eyes? I feel like that's kind of what it's doing. Like it's very much a colour corrector, which I do believe that's what it's called correction concentrate yeah it's very much like a corrector rather than a concealer and i do actually think this might be what i've been looking for recently because sometimes i do find using concealers it doesn't necessarily take away the blue it just kind of cakes on top and so this might be a really really good option especially if you're like me and you really like to keep your makeup as lightweight as possible this will probably be really good on like a no makeup makeup day because it doesn't really feel like i've got anything under my eyes at the moment do you know what i probably should have done one and not the other so that you can really see the difference but i really feel like that has just taken away the like blueness under my eyes i am really really impressed with that i mean it's definitely not a concealer so you will need a concealer for like spot correcting or like the rest of your face but i am in love i'm just going to do a tiny little bit more right on the inner corner because i feel like that's the bit that gets the bluest for me um and it definitely takes a lot of working in, so you really do need to kind of buff it into place and like blend it into your skin. But wow, that has actually completely taken away the blueness under my eyes. And I would be so happy just going out like that. Like I feel like I wouldn't need anything else over the top if I'm having like a bit of a no makeup makeup day. Oh my gosh, I'm in love. I'm absolutely in love. And then of course the h2o skin tint over the top depending on like how i want to be wearing it that day if i want like a real no makeup makeup day if i'm like going to the gym um or like going swimming or anything like that i'll usually just apply this with my fingers like a moisturizer but if i want it to feel a little bit more like a base to my uh, makeup i'll apply it with the makeup brush but i feel like you don't really need to see me doing the rest of my makeup because nothing has really changed recently so i will catch you guys in a bit um but i just wanted to give you like a real first impression of that cc crayon and i must admit i am very very impressed i don't know if it comes in any different colors this one doesn't have a color on it so i think it's literally just one color so might not really work for like darker skin tones but works really really well for my pale skin tone and 
I'm really, really impressed with that. So I'm gonna get myself ready for the rest of the day and I will catch you guys in a bit. dressed and ready for the day and it's just another cozy comfy day today we've gone slick back bun which it's just my favorite hairstyle when i'm doing like a lazy girl hair um and i just put on this little phase eight jumper that you would have seen in my last haul which is the coziest thing ever and i know in the last video i showed it to you with wide leg trousers but i'm just wearing it with leggings today which i'm not gonna lie i'm on the hunt for some new leggings because these are just the mns jersey ones in petite and they're okay but i do find that they get a little bit see-through after a while um there is a fly in this room where have you come from I feel like we've not had any windows open since it's been so chilly, but um, yeah, it is a cold day today. So I just want all the cozy vibes and this jumper is just giving me exactly that. Now, speaking of cozy vibes, I have a couple of new in pieces to show you from a new brand that I've recently discovered. Now I'm going to guess the pronunciation of this one because I believe it's a German brand. So I'll put it on screen so that you can see it. I believe Almond Angels, I'm going to assume the pronunciation, but I have some new pieces from them that I feel like are really going to just see me through the next coming months, really like fill gaps in my wardrobe and be just like really wearable pieces over the next couple of months. The first one is actually a set, so I've tucked the um, trousers in here, but it's a trouser and t-shirt set. And I do actually feel like that's kind of what's been missing in my wardrobe when it comes to just like cozy loungewear. Now, when it comes to being at home, I am not someone that wears joggers. I don't like wearing, especially like cuffed joggers. It's just something that I don't actually find comfortable i don't know if it's like a sensory thing but especially with that cuff at the bottom i feel a bit claustrophobic in them so for me wide leg trousers are just the comfiest coziest thing ever and actually look really chic and elevated so i really really love wide leg trousers and when i saw these on the website this jersey pair i just fell in love i thought these would be so so perfect to add into my wardrobe and i love the fact that it comes with a t-shirt because i do find that sometimes when it comes to being at home especially if you've got the heating on if you're someone that's got like a fire or anything you can actually get quite warm so i always like to be able to like layer when it comes to knitwear and loungewear and being cozy so wearing a t-shirt being able to chuck a cardigan or even like a jumper over the top i feel like it's just just perfect so i love the fact that it's got a crew neck and i cannot tell you how soft this is i feel like this is going to be the kind of thing that i just live in at the weekends throughout autumn and winter it's so soft it's so cozy and i am so in love cozy season is here and i could not be happier with this set my goodness me is this comfy is this cozy is this soft and yet does it still look quite elevated like it's the kind of thing that just feels so comfortable to wear but you're not embarrassed to answer the door to your postman and that is exactly what i like when it comes to cozy loungewear sets and the perfect layering piece to put over the top of that set would be this little stripe jumper now you guys know how much i adore breton stripes i just find them so versatile so easy to start and i really really love how they look and this jumper i feel like i don't have anything like this in my wardrobe it's very different because it's got this kind of like ribbed details like a vertical rib is it vertical i always get it wrong i can never remember the difference between horizontal and vertical it's like left and right i always have to like think about it i always have to do the l's vertical horizontal horizontal vertical the stripes go side to side basically um but i really loved the fact that again this is a crew neck and i feel like sometimes it's quite nice to have jumps that aren't always like fully kind of like wrapped around your neck it's nice for them to be a little bit low and a little bit more like breathable um i just thought this was so perfect for styling up for things like leggings with your wide leg trousers just something really really cozy yet elevated so another gorgeous piece to add into my wardrobe this is such a cute little jumper i love the kind of like oversized loose feel of it it's got these kind of like bat wing sleeves and as you can see the sleeves are very long on me so i would definitely roll them up or kind of like fold them up so that they fit a little bit better um, but i love the length of this it's kind of like a little bit cropped um so i feel like this would work really really well with leggings wide leg trousers i also think slip skirts would be really cute with this if you wanted to kind of like elevate it a little bit and style it up a little bit more but a jumper that i just know i'm going to be reaching for a lot over the next coming months now you guys will know that my favorite thing to wear when i'm at home is just comfy dresses 
it's actually kind of ironic that I'm wearing leggings today because normally on a day like today I'd just be wearing a super easy, super comfy dress. And when I saw this little navy blue number on Armand Angels, I just thought that would be so perfect to add into my wardrobe for again, those days when you want to be comfy, the days when you want to be cozy, but you still want to look nice and elevated. So I really like that this just didn't really have any design details to it. Like it's just got this lovely cinched in waist, a crew neck again, and then you can style it up or style it down. This would work so perfectly with like some long line cardigans, some cozy cardies chucked over the top. You could easily elevate it with like some jewelry, some necklaces around the collar or style it up at home with your slippers. That's probably how I'm gonna be wearing it. But I just thought this was such a great one to add into my wardrobe. Well, if this isn't just the perfect comfiest at home dress I have ever seen, then I don't know what is. It's a little bit longer in length than I was expecting, but I don't hate that. I feel like it's nice and cozy, perfect for October. Um, and of course, I have to start out with my Ugg slippers because that's exactly how I'd be wanting to wear this at home. I love the fact that you've got the cinched in waist. It's like elasticated, so super comfy. And I just love the fact that it looks really elegant still. Like it looks really elevated, really beautiful. As I said, you could definitely style this up a little bit more. Um, but for me, I think this is just gonna be one of those pieces that I wear when I just want a nice cozy day at home. Now moving away from some more comfy styles into some pieces that I just absolutely adore. And you know how much wear I get out of my gorgeous like slip skirts throughout autumn winter style up with like a cozy jumper over the top. I love them. And there was one color that I was really gravitating towards towards the end of summer, and that was yellow. And when I saw this like blue and yellow, blue, blue. <laughs> this blue and yellow skirt on Armand Angels. I just fell in love with it. I thought it was so, so gorgeous. I love the fact that you've got the yellow, which makes it a bit more autumnal, but this could also be styled up in like springtime because of the blue vibes. I feel like depending on what color you want to wear this with will kind of determine the season that you can wear it in. But I just thought this was so gorgeous, paired with like sock boots, a cozy knit chucked over the top. This is a very Ellie skirt. Another gorgeous little addition into my autumn wardrobe. I really need to give this skirt a steam because as you can see it's very creased up at the bottom but I love the fact that it's got slits on both sides. I feel like it's so flattering because it just has a little bit more movement to it um, and it actually works really well with this jumper. I feel like lots of like cozy knits would work so so beautifully. I feel like some more like brown tones like burnt oranges would look so gorgeous with this um, so a beautiful little addition to add into my wardrobe but for autumn I really really do love a little slip skirt for autumn styling. And lastly, if there is one thing I absolutely adore, no matter what season, no matter what time of year, it is a shirt dress. And when I saw this one, I got really excited because this is like the thickest shirt dress I think I've ever seen. So basically the most autumn winter appropriate shirt dress to add into my wardrobe. It's just completely plain. There's no detailing to the buttons, which I really, really like. And I believe it's a navy blue. Yeah, which I don't have in my wardrobe. I'm looking at it next to the black. It's definitely navy blue. It's a really, really dark navy blue though. So I quite like it because I feel like it's one of those where you have to really look at it to be able to determine what color it is. But it comes with its own little belt, but you could easily elevate this by adding your own belt to it. I feel like a nice tan belt would look really, really cool. But this is the kind of thing that I just live in. It's so great for work wear. It's so great for when you're at home. Days like today when I'm just filming, this is the kind of thing that I love to live in. So I'm really excited that I was able to get one that's a little bit more seasonally appropriate for autumn, winter. I just thought this was absolutely gorgeous. Well, I think we can all agree that it doesn't get much more classic than this. Does this have pockets? Oh doesn't have pockets. I feel like the what that's the one thing that it is missing, but a super cozy, easy to style shirt dress that is so much thicker than my others. It's going to keep me really nice and snugly warm. I know I always get questions about like office attire, workwear attire. I feel like this is perfect. You could easily casually it down for the weekend as well, like roll the sleeves up, add some trainers, and this would be gorgeous for like weekend styling. But I just love the structure on it. I love the fact that it's navy blue because I don't have anything like this in my wardrobe. And I just feel like it's such a perfect dress to add into my wardrobe. Oh my goodness, and I almost completely forgot to tell you that I also picked up a few bits for Alex because they do also have a really good men's section on there. And I feel like it's really unusual to find a brand that does like an equally good men's and women's section that you're able to order together. So the first thing I picked up is this gorgeous little blue, let me put these there, uh, this gorgeous little blue knit, which is such a stunning like navy blue color and it's a really, really chunky knit. Now the men's stuff comes up really oversized. Alex is normally a large to extra large, but I actually ordered these in a medium because I wanted them just to be like nicely fitted. And I love the fact that this has 
a V neckline. I feel like it's really hard to find men's jumpers with V necklines and they're really, really flattering, especially if you do like a little white t-shirt underneath. I really like that and they're super easy to style up with like jeans or trousers. So I love the navy blue one. Now this gray one, I'm not gonna lie, is my favorite. I mean, a classic gray crew neck on a man. It's just my absolute favourite. Um, and Alex really, really likes this one as well. I feel like a crew neck's a little bit more like safe for them as well. Like they know how to style it. Um, and again, could be worn with like jeans. I feel like black wide leg jeans, really, really cool with grey jumpers or just like nice black trousers. Um, but another one that is super cute, so cosy as well. Like you wouldn't believe how thick these are. Um, and then the last one, actually, I think this might have been Alex's favourite one. This little white... I'm gonna call this one a sweater because it's not really like a knit, like it's much more of like a jersey kind of sporty sweater vibe. But again, it's got a V-neck. I really, really love that vibe on him. And I love the fact that it's got such a like thick um, kind of trim going down. And again, start up with like a t-shirt underneath. I feel like a black crew neck t-shirt would look so cool with this. Um, and I really, really loved the vibe of it. Um, yeah, can you see how oversized this is? This is a medium. My boyfriend is six foot three, boyfriend? I keep doing that. I still do that. And he sometimes turns around like, excuse me, I'm not your boyfriend. My fiance is six foot three and has very, very wide shoulders. So he's normally in large to extra large. Whereas these, I got in a medium. So just be warned if you are ordering for your partners, your husbands, your boyfriends, you probably want to size down unless they love that like really oversized look. Um, so yeah, almost forgot to show you those as well. But it's so nice when I'm able to pick up things for Alex um, and I'm able to shop on the same website because it means I can get him some really cute pieces too. And on that note, I actually think I'm going to leave this vlog here because I have promised myself that I'm really gonna try and stick to the kind of like 30 minute mark with regards to my videos and make sure that they don't get too long. I actually kind of feel like a weight has been lifted on, off my shoulder from us like really communicating and chatting about what you guys want to be doing in terms of like watching and what I want to be doing in terms of filming because I actually thought that I would feel that weight lifted off my shoulder from dropping down to two videos a week but I actually just really didn't like it. I love checking in with you guys pretty much every day. I know I'm a chatter and it literally felt like I was having to like hold myself back for the sake of YouTube so I'm really really excited that we're going back to the three days a week and I am so grateful for you you for literally just giving me all of your feedback all of your communication has really really helped because sometimes this job can be difficult in that sense and it can be just a bit lonely because obviously I'm here by myself I'm editing this myself I literally only have like my manager and my assistant who works one day a week like other than that it is just me so sometimes it can be a bit tricky being a one-woman band um and I don't know if it was because of all like the travel throughout September but I kind of felt a bit I don't want to say uprooted, I feel like that's probably a little bit too dramatic, but I wasn't settled, I wasn't in my usual environment, I wasn't in my usual routine, and so I kind of feel like that when I came back, I just felt really unsettled was the best it's the best way to describe it it's probably sounding a lot more dramatic than it actually is but I was just really unsure and it was like a little bit rocky and I do feel like as October has gone on I'm feeling more and more settled and more and more happy with just my usual routine like you know what I'm like I'm a routine girl I'm quite a vanilla person I love being at home I love a cozy life I love cozy boring vlogs that is the kind of thing that I love to create and I love to watch. Um, so I really hope you guys are happy that we are going back to the three days a week because I have listened to you and you will always come first. Um, so if you got to the end of this video, leave me the word cozy down below in your comments. I feel like October is the month of cozy season and I have some really exciting things happening in October actually, which I'm really, really looking forward to. So I hope you stick around. If you're not subscribed already, I would love it if you hit that subscribe button and please be sure to give the video a thumbs up as well because that also really, really helps me in knowing what kind of videos you like to watch and moving forward, just making sure that my videos are kind of like being shown to more people as well so that they can find my channel as well. So I'm gonna leave this vlog here. I hope you guys are having the loveliest day and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.